Hey everyone, welcome back to Engineering Education. For this next problem, we have a point charge located at the origin of this coordinate system here. And this point charge has a charge of 0 0.3 times 10 to the negative 3. And the question is, what is the E field at the point 2, 3, 4? So as always, pause the video, give it a shot, and we'll go over the answer in a bit. So to go ahead and solve this, we go to the FE handbook. And here in the electrical and computer section, we have the electrostatic section, which we saw before. And we have here, just underneath, we have an electric fields section, where here it says that the electric field intensity E in volts per meter at point 2 due to a point charge Q1 at point 1 is given by this equation here, where epsilon naught is a constant, it's the permittivity of free space, and we're given the, the constant right here, and A is just a unit vector showing the direction of the E field, and R is the distance between the two charges. So going back to our plot here, I'm going to write down that equation, dropping the direction and just worrying about the magnitude. So E was equal to Q 4 pi epsilon r squared, where epsilon was just epsilon naught, which is 8.85 times 10 to the negative 12 farads per meter. So now we know everything here to solve this equation. We know q, pi is just a constant, epsilon is just a constant. We need to find r. And the way we'd find r is using the Euclidean distance. So r is 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 4 squared square root. And that'll give us the, the distance to that point from the origin 2.234. Now if the point charge was not located at the origin, then you would have to take the differences, right? So the distance formula is some x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus some y1 squared plus z2 minus some z1 squared, and all of that square root. But because we have it at the origin, we simply just get what we wrote down, and that's equal to the square root of 29. And now we can find E as Q, which is 0 0.3 times 10 to the negative 3 divided by 4 pi times this epsilon, 8.85 times 10 to the negative 12, times the square root of 29 squared, which is just 29. And when we plug all this in, we get 93,018 volts per meter, which is the same thing as 93.02 kilovolts per meter. So that is our answer. That is the electric field at some distance away from this point charge, where this point charge is 0 0.3 times 10 to the negative 3 coulombs, and it a, has a radius of square root of 29. So did you get that? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, enjoy engineering. 